Uh, welcome to uh, Worldwide Center of Mathematics basic series, this uh, complex analysis basic series. For uh, this video, we're going to cover, we're going to talk a little bit about Mobius transformations. So Mobius transformations are of the form f of z equals az plus b over cz plus d. Uh, first, let's note that we want First, we're going to note if AD minus BC equals 0, we can write A over C equals B over D equals gamma, uh, lambda. Uh, so AZ plus B over CZ plus D equals lambda times Z plus B over A over Z plus D over C. And B over A and D over C are also equal, so that just equals lambda. So if AD minus BC equals 0, our function is just the constant, one, constant function. So we're going to assume AD minus BC does not equal So we're going to show that the Mobius transformation takes lines and circles, two lines and circles. So remember, any circle on the plane can be written in the form x minus x naught squared plus y minus y naught squared equals r squared, the center of the circle being x naught y naught, radius being r. Uh, so we can write this in a slightly different form of a x squared plus y squared plus 2bx plus 2cy plus d equals 0. So uh, this form covers any circle we want and also any line we want by saying saying a equal to 0. And so we can write this in a slightly different form. We're going to write this uh, as a times z, uh, conjugate z, plus b plus ic times z plus b minus ic times conjugate, conjugate of z plus d equals 0, this being equivalent to our previous form. And so now, sort of the transformation uh, sending z to 1 over z, or so substituting uh, 1 over w for z and 1 over uh, conjugate w for conjugate z, uh, we have uh, this line 1 over uh, w 1 over w conjugate plus b plus ic 1 over w plus b minus ic 1 over w conjugate plus d equals 0. Multiplying this whole thing by w times w conjugate, we get an equation in this form, which is actually of the same form that we started with. So this is also the form of a circle or a line. Uh, and so now we can say the, the transformation sending z to 1 over z uh, preserves circles and lines. So it sends circles and lines into something else as a circle or a line. So now we can write our Mobius transformation slightly differently. So we're going to write our general Mobius transformation as A over C plus B minus AD over C over CZ plus D. So we can think of this as three consecutive transformations, uh, one cz plus d, one 1 over z, and then one uh, a over c plus z times b minus a d over c. All three of these transformations, note that these linear ones obviously uh, preserve our circles and lines. And our, we know the inverse also preserves circles and lines. This whole, this Mobius transformation must also preserve circles and lines. And so from that, we, we conclude that uh, lines and circles get sent to lines and circles by the Mobius transformation. Uh, one last thing uh, we can note, uh, we will, we'll know about the Mobius transformation, is uh, a neat form given that you're sending, you know you have a Mobius transformation, it sends three certain points to three certain points in the complex plane. We can write. So this can be a useful form if you're given 
a Mobius transformation, you know it's at three points to three other points. Uh, writing W minus W1 over W minus W2 over W3 minus W1 over W3 minus W2. And a similar form for, uh, for Z. So uh, note here that Z1 corresponds to W1, Z2. If we plug in Z equals Z2 and W equals W2, we get it equals each other. And same for Z3, W3. And so uh, this is a transformation that sends three points to three other points. Note that if we simplify that, it is a Mobius transformation. And we can, in fact, you can, in fact, prove that a Mobius transformation that sends three points to three other points is unique. Uh, you can do this by noting that any more than two fixed, Mobius transformation with more than two fixed points is the, uh, the transformation WZ equals Z. And it, if it's, and note that if you have two Mobius transformations, the inverse of one uh, with the other one will give you something with more than three fixed points, and so is the constant transformation, the uh, WZ equals Z transformation, and so th they would have to be identical. Uh, we won't go through th the details here. But, uh, so one more thing we can know about this form, uh, that if we have some point Z4 corresponding to W4, So these ratios, the stop ratio divided by this bond ratio, this is known as the cross, the cross ratio of four points. And so, according to this, we see the cross ratio of four points and their images have the same value. And so the cross ratio of four points is preserved under the Mobius transformation, which is another neat property. And yeah, that's a few properties of the Mobius transformation. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please check out the rest of the videos in our playlist. Uh, thank you.